Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Minnemeyer and today I'm going to be doing a worldview analysis for you of Disney's 2016 film Moana. So first off, a little bit of background about the movie. It was the Disney made it and it was originally based off of Polynesian and Hawaiian legends and mythology. And their website, uh, I, there's a quote from it that says, for centuries, the greatest sailors in the world masterfully navigated the vast Pacific, discovering the many islands of Oceania. But then 3000 years ago, their voyages stopped for millennium and no one knows exactly why. And the website goes on and says that that's partially why they made the movie Moana was from that time period. They base it off of then. So some common worldview beliefs that I found in Moana were it had mainly deist beliefs and like one or two touches of Hinduism in it. So the first one was deism. I from what I saw, they believe that the world was created and their gods are not personal beings that their daily lives center around and their world is orderly and governed by physical laws, which are all things that are in the deist's beliefs. And next would be the Hinduism that I saw in Moana. The main aspect of Hinduism that was shown in the movie is the belief in reincarnation. And Moana also answered all four of the worldview questions, which as a quick reminder are, what is our nature? What is our world? What is our problem? And what is our end? The first one, what is our nature? Was answered by humans are weak and gullible as was referenced by Maui in his song, You're Welcome. It mainly paints men as humans who either hold Moana back from her calling or are arrogant. And it also shows that people are naive and self-centered. The next is what is our world? And so mainly this movie focuses on like the ocean and stuff, but it does say that life was created by Tafiti and Montanui, which is Moana's island, was perfection. They had everything that they needed, coconuts, fish, etc. until Maui ruined it, that is. And it also says that Maui made the world and pretty much everything in it except life. The third question is, what is our problem? And this question is answered by the fact that Tafiti's heart was stolen by Maui. And because of that, the islands were dying and the solution to this problem was that Moana had to go and fix the problem by restoring the heart of Tafiti to Tafiti, which would then give life back to the islands. The fourth question, what is our end, is answered by that humans are mortals, at least according to Maui. Actually, he mentions it several times in the movie. And Moana's grandmother turns into a manta ray, which shows what happens after they die. And mainly, humans do not have a specific purpose in life. It's mainly just live, explore, and have fun. And I did see a couple common threads with Christianity in Moana. The first is that humans are weak and gullible and susceptible, susceptible to sin. And... So I found some Bible verses that go along with it. Their references are Romans 3.23 and Jeremiah 17.9, if you want to look them up later. The next common thread with Christianity is that the world was created. And some Bible verses about that are Genesis 1 and 2, chapters 1 and 2, and John 1, verses 1 through 4. And the third one is everyone has enough value to be saved, which is Romans 6.23. The next part is the barriers to Christianity that I found in the movie. The first one is the multiple gods that are mentioned, reincarnation, and Maui's creation story. So the gods, gods, that they have in Moana are Maui, Teka, Tefiti, and the other nameless gods that made Maui a demigod and took away his hook after he stole the heart. 
And Christianity does, the slide here says multiple gods according to Christianity. The Christianity and the Bible does have things to say about God being the only God. And some verses are 1 Corinthians 8 through 6 or 8, 6 and Isaiah 45 verse 18 and Deuteronomy 4, 39. The next barrier is reincarnation. Moana's grandmother believed that death only led, leads to another life and that one spirit will pass on to other life forms. Other than her, death is only mentioned once, and that is when Moana's father's best friend died when he was like a teenager. So there really isn't a lot said about death in Moana. But the Bible, it taught in Hebrews 9, verse 27, and Romans 14, 10, talks about what happens after death, which is essentially you die and then you get judged. And if, if you have Jesus, then you'll go to heaven. But if you don't, then you won't. And the third barrier is Maui's creation story which doesn't line up with the biblical creation story at all. According to his song, You're Welcome, he made the wind, stole fire from below, pulled islands from the sea, made coconuts, grass, and the tide, lassoed the sun, and holds up the sun, moon, and sky. Whereas with the Christian creation story, God made everything, and he didn't make coconut trees from killing eels and burying their guts and sprouting coconut trees. <laughs> so some verses about God's creation in the Bible are found in Genesis chapter 1 and 2 and John 1 verses 1 through 4 and Hebrews 11 verse 3, if you want to look them up. And finally, a Christian's response to Moana from what I found in the movie. So mainly this movie promotes female power and authority and that that is seen in a lot of ways throughout the movie. And I believe that this movie should be watched by someone who is firm in his or her beliefs about God because there are a lot of references and beliefs that do not line up with the Christian worldview. So if someone thinks that they may easily be led astray then this is probably not the best movie for them. And in conclusion, I have a couple of references here of where I got my information. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have. Other than that, thank you for watching and listening and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.